So normally when I make a video, I try to have lots of energy so that I can uh, kind of convey my excitement through the camera to all of you watching. But uh, I am beat, I am exhausted. I'm sitting down here in my fish room. It has been quite the day. I was on an airplane uh, for about four hours this morning and uh, came home, had to do a little bit of work, was on a couple, couple of conference calls and then uh, discovered a little bit of a disaster. So uh, without further ado, let's just get right to it. So uh, I'll show you the footage now. Well, this is definitely not what I had in mind to do today. Uh, just got off of a flight a few hours ago, uh, flew back from Dallas, came home, did a little bit of work, and then came down to fish room just to kind of check on everything. Everything looked fine. And then I was, uh, I removed one of the panels underneath my stand to um, look for some foam because I was gonna pack up some fish for somebody. And then I noticed that the ground was kind of wet and I thought that's really strange. You know, I don't have any, Thing that's you know showing any signs of leaking or anything like that and I'm not accustomed to having water on the floor down here so I checked everything I checked the drain where my sink is um, checked all the tanks they all looked fine and then I looked at my mud skipper tank and realized that it had cracked so as you can see and I apologize if the if the video quality is not great and the audio quality is not great I just grabbed my phone real quick um, you can see that it's cracked up and down and uh, the water level has probably dropped maybe about an inch or so so normally like the water would have been like right about here maybe less than an inch maybe like a half an inch so obviously we've lost some water so i didn't touch anything i just had to make sure that i could find a, another 75 gallon tank real quick so i called a couple of petcos found one and ran to the store and grabbed it so now I'm going to have to carefully drain this water down. I'm going to have to catch the fish, which is not going to be fun. So I'm going to have to catch the mud skippers, catch the puffer, and uh, put them in buckets for now. And then take all this down, which is really, really going to be an arduous project because as you guys know, this is not easy with all the sand and everything like that. So I'm going to have to do that and uh, set it all up together. So. I did, I'm not grabbing my main cameras or my backup camera. I just grabbed my little action camera. So I will do a little bit of uh, time lapse maybe and see how it comes out. So I just got to get get this uh, taken care of. But I feel like documenting it just to show you, hey, you know, things happen. Now, what I do think is that, um, so this tank I got for free. And like there's even like electrical tape like hiding like the old silicone. And it, it had like a little tiny crack in here before, right about this area, which I had actually talked about in previous videos, um, which is why I never used this tank until I, you know, had the, the chance to use it as this uh, paludarium because the water wasn't gonna go up that high. I kept it low. And I don't know what happened. I know that we recently moved this tank um, when we were doing uh, the remodel down here in the fish room. So something happened where it might've stressed it out. But anyway, it cracked right from the origin of where that original crack was. That original crack was maybe about a half an inch or so. So it just spread from that original area and went up and went down. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, drain the water, catch the fish and deal with this nightmare. Okay, some more iPhone footage real quick. So as you can see, Water's drained down. I got some of the structure out. I was actually very happy. I was easily able to catch the mudskippers. I was really worried that they would like hide under the rocks and make it really difficult for me. So right now I've got the puffer and all four mudskippers in this garbage can. Um, I could run an airstone in there, but I don't need to because there's, you know, it's, it's not gonna be set up like this for that long. So there's obviously space for the muskippers to get up on land if they want to, and the, mud, and the uh, puffer has plenty of water down there. But I thought what I would do is show you guys real quick kind of the structure. Some of, the, some of you ask about the sand. And as you can see, it's kind of, there's like a big wall right here, and that's concrete blocks and foam. So very unfortunate that this tank broke, but I did get it for free and it was broken already. So. I guess moving it or whatever. Maybe it was my little earthquake test that put it over the over the top. So anyway, I am going to uh, keep working here and uh, some of the heavy lifting is coming up. But um, I guess on a good note, I guess I'll get a chance to kind of change a couple of things in this tank that I didn't love before. So now I get a chance to kind of do a little bit of upgrading to this uh, Mudskipper Paludarium 
just because I'm having to take it apart and put it back together so I can fix a couple things that I didn't love before. Okay, another 20 minutes or so in. And uh, here you can see I've got all the sand, the blocks, the concrete blocks, additional sand. And the tank is empty. So it's a lot of work, but it's not uh, terrible. Now, ideally, I would have someone helping me, but there's no one here. And really, even if my wife and, you know, anyone was home, I don't know if they'd be able to help much. So I'll just muscle it myself. But a quick little pro tip for people that are uh, changing out substrate, a dustpan is your best friend because it fits inside of a tank on most tanks, you know, anywhere from, let's say, a 20 gallon and up. And then you can just scoop it along the bottom and then scrape out any substrate, sand, whatever. So out with the old, in with the new. Something funny I saw here, this little warning sign, heavy object, two person lift required. I think not. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take off this cardboard and all the stickers and rinse out this tank and get it installed. So I thought this might be a good time to kind of demonstrate how I put this together since the last video is like a year old. So the first thing that I'm doing is I'm putting a layer of sand down on the base of the tank. The reason why is the concrete blocks are going to be on top of this. So I need a layer of sand to make sure that the concrete blocks do not sit directly on the, on the uh, glass and that there's a kind of a cushion there. So um, here you can see that I've got about half the tank mapped out as far as uh, putting the uh, concrete blocks down and you can see that it's fairly thick, maybe an inch or so thick. So I'm going to go ahead and um, put these uh, blocks in and then after I do the blocks, I'm going to kind of fill in the gaps with sand. So a lot of you have asked like, wow, that's a lot of sand. How do you keep it all up? Well, you know, 90% of it was concrete blocks and only a couple of inches, a couple of inches was sand. So uh, anyway, I'm going to put the blocks down. We'll fill in the gaps with sand. And then I'm going to kind of put the rocks back and uh, make a couple of tweaks to make this better so that uh, we've got some improvements. I should probably also mention that these uh, concrete blocks are not hollow. They are um, filled with expanding foam, kind of like what I've used in other projects. So they're just kind of like big things here to take up the volume and uh, sand just goes on top and around the sides. It's all back together. Everything is nice and clean. And here we can see that the new tank is all set up. There is my figure eight puffer Poe checking out his new digs. It's pretty much the same as the last time I set up this tank. Um, I did change up the bank area a little bit by just doing a little bit of different structure as far as how I'm retaining the sand. Now I still have those blocks there obviously, but I just kind of changed this wall, I guess, so I can have less sand come down and just change this area up a little bit. Kind of made some more water area in the back here for the Munskippers, a little bit larger of a beach right here. So this always shifts a little bit because it's sand and they kind of jump around and knock stuff around. But um, overall, it worked out well, all things considered. So, uh, yeah. There's our mud skippers. There's another one there in the back. Well, it is quite the ordeal, or it was quite the ordeal. This is not a clickbait video, obviously. Um, 
I think I spent about three hours uh, between running to the store. Well, I, I think I spent about three hours like doing all the work, switching the tank and cleaning up and everything, and then a little bit of time having to run to the store and and uh, buy a tank. Fortunately for me, there are two Petco's within about 10 or 15 minutes of drive. So I was able to, uh, I called the closer one, they didn't have it. Called the second one, they had it, so. Anyway, that is the video. I am exhausted. Um, I, I, I guess all I can say is it's my fault. It's my fault for putting a tank up that was cracked. And I probably, sh you know, should have used my better judgment and just saw the, the, uh, the tank in its form or condition and just said no thank you but I did get it for free it was sitting out in the Sun so you know what that's like the silicone gets all dry and yucky there was that crack in the glass but I just kind of had it sitting aside as like a backup and then when I got this whole idea to do the mud skippers over a year ago now um, I had that tank and figured I would just set it up and if I did only you know partial water it would be okay and I guess it was okay for about 12 or 13 months and then uh, crack so uh, anyway that's done now i gotta figure out how to dispose of it um i don't know i break it up in pieces and put it in a dumpster i'm not sure well that's probably not safe because of the glass so i'll figure out a way to dispose of it but uh, anyway definitely my fault for um you know putting it up in its current condition and then maybe not being so careful with it knowing that it was fragile but uh, lesson learned and hopefully all of you can learn from my mistakes so that you don't repeat it at your home. So uh, anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and uh, hopefully it was kind of entertaining. For those of you that uh, did have questions on how I put the uh, Medskipper Paludarium together, this was round two, I guess. So you got to see me do it all over again. But uh, anyway, I will put a link up above of the uh, other video. Um, showing you how I made it the first time. So uh, anyway, that's all I had for now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell, buy a t-shirt at tozawatanks.com, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.